Hey, what's going on, guys? So, a while back, I got a gift in the mail from a gentleman by the name of Joe Honeycutt, and basically, it was a hand forged steel striker. And I just thought this thing was the greatest thing ever because it is the same shape as my tattoo here. And that means a lot to me because this is my daughter's tattoo and most of you guys know how important my daughter is to me. So I wanted to make a video special um, basically just saying thank you to Joe. Um, if he watches this, I hope that he does. Um, and we are going to use this for the first time and I don't want to do it um, traditional char cloth or you know with finding dry tinder on the ground and everything else I want to incorporate also a one stick fire um, I've never tried the one stick fire so who knows I might fail I might succeed but like I've said a hundred times if you're going to fail fail in your backyard so that's what we're gonna do today gonna try to uh, do a one stick fire using my new steel striker and uh, hopefully we'll get something going. Stay with me. Okay guys, and this is the stick or small tree limb that I'm going to use. Um, got plenty of wood around me so I, it's kind of humorous that I'm actually going to do this. Um, the one stick fire is um, definitely in my eyes not a necessity but you know I get it. I understand why people do it and it's nothing more than to hone your skills and I think that's awesome. Um, so I'm going to give that a try, even though I have no idea what I'm doing when it comes to a one stick fire. I know the concept and I kind of got an idea of what I want to try. So these are the tools that I'm going to use. I am going to use my ever trusty tomahawk. My uh, Mora Robust. As well as my charred punk wood. Like I've said before, I don't really like char cloth. I believe more in charred punk wood just because it's readily available in any woodland area that you go into. Okay, so I guess the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to break off all these smaller pieces and just kind of work my way into this thing. So bear with me. This is a learning experience for me, so maybe it'll be a learning experience for you as well. I've set up a little platform over here of some uh, logs to keep my wood up off the ground. It rained the other night, so I don't really want those things to draw up any kind of moisture or anything like that. This is a really good piece here, so I think I'm going to do a little bit of uh, feather sticking with this piece here. And then 
this piece over here where it's curved, I think I'm going to make some really small shavings as well. Okay, so, oh look, the ants are back. They just love me. Okay, so I think I'm going to start by making some feather sticks with this, or not necessarily feather sticks, but just getting some fine curls and all that good stuff in it. I think uh, too much emphasis is put into perfect curls and perfect feather sticks at times and ultimately I think the uh, number one goal is just to get a fire going so I don't focus so much on being perfect uh, with a perfect technique all the time just as long as I'm able to get the job done that's what's important to me Okay, and here's a uh, little pile of the feather sticks that I've made, as well as some of the shavings that came off. Now all I'm going to do is make some smaller, finer shavings and collect them so I can put them into my tin once I get an ember. Okay, so here's what I've got. I've got my charred punk wood. I've got the lid full paper thin shavings. Got my feather sticks. And I got my small fuel. So let me see if I can get an ember going in this tin.
All right, so now as most of you guys know, it's very easy to knock over your tin whenever you're trying to throw a spark in this thing. So the last thing I want to do is dump over my shavings and everything else. So I'm going to take these and I'm going to set them to the side. I really don't feel like spilling them. Alright, let's give it a shot. Getting little embers, but they keep going on. There we go. Okay. Let's give this a shot. See if I can get this ember to grow a little bit here. Stick going here. Before I get too carried away, I am going to put the lid on my punk wood so that I have it at a later date. Now I know this method of the one stick fire was a little unorthodox using uh, flint and steel, but you know what? Everybody uses a ferro rod all the time when it comes to the feather sticks or the, excuse me, the one stick fires. I wanted to do something a little bit different. The fire steel that was given to me was special to me, so I wanted to do this one stick fire. A little bit different than the rest. So that's why I chose that particular method. So anyway, again, Joe, I can't thank you enough for this guy. That little steel means a lot to me. And um, hope you guys have enjoyed this video on me performing my very first one stick fire.
Um, sometimes I think we get a little cocky and a little arrogant and think to ourselves that it's not necessary to practice these unorthodox skills. But you know what, let's be honest with ourselves. Um, practice is never, never a bad thing. So think outside the box, do things like this. Learn every day, guys. So, like always, you guys have enjoyed this video. Have a good evening.